I think I'm gonna start doing like weekly vlogs. I think that just make more sense than just try to vlog the day of. I think it's just much better like getting like the week. I can do from Monday to, I can vlog from Monday to Friday or Saturday and then I can edit Sunday. So let's see how that works. We're gonna start doing like weekly vlogs cause whew, trying to get all them vlogs like push it out in like a day, record it in a day, then push it out the next day, like within that week, it can take a toll on you. So I'm gonna try to do like maybe three weeks and then just try to put all, the, I mean a week vlog and then just try to put all the videos in like one. So yeah, we'll do that. You guys can get ready with me. I don't know what I'm gonna throw on, but I'll put on something. It's warm outside, so maybe shorts. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. You guys like my hair? I just wanna take you out and show you off. You already know that you the perfect one. Girl, when I'm with you, feel like a champion. Ever since I got with you, I feel like I done won me a trophy. Hey guys, so I am about to, well I already know what I'm going to wear, um, I have my stuff already out, so uh, just something simple because I'm just going to be running to the store. Um, yeah, and so my best friend's on the phone right now talking with me, but yeah, I'm about to get ready and show you guys what I have. Follow me on Twitter, my name is... So, I'm just... <laughs> you so silly. I have these green shorts. I love the, the texture of these shorts. I get these from H&M. This Mickey Mouse shirt. This is from Zara. What kind of shirt are you feeling today? You feeling something fun? Um, something maybe like something fun. Something not too heavy. Like maybe maybe a low top. Huh? A low top. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder a little bit. I'm going to get some meat, some steak, and probably some like. But this is cute. Something like this. What'd you say? Stay tuned, YouTube. Definitely coming back to Atlanta. <laughs> Y'all hear what he said? He's coming back to Atlanta. What? Do you need to go outside? So yeah, the next relationship, the next relationship I get in, I just feel like, have you, so, you know, the person that you, um, what's the name with, do you guys like, y'all know each other, right? As far as like, knowing like, when a person's in a certain type of mood, or like, are you guys, do like, do you guys know each other? Like, you could like basically say what, you, you can basically like say what he's thinking. Can you do that? Because that's how, that's how I want to be like in tune to him. Yeah, I think that's a beautiful thing. I think people kind of like grow to learn. Yeah, uh-huh. But people also change as you're getting to know them. Like people constantly are growing, changing yeah. people. So I think the toughest part. And someone can who accept that who can what's the name? As long as you ain't going too off, too far off like drugs and all that shit. No, but like people change in mindset, people grow with you, like when they get used to you and stuff uh -huh. like that. When you think you know something, you gotta like stand your toe sometimes because it's like mm -hmm. people are evolving. But as long as somebody's not making it hard to know them, I think everything's great. If uh -huh. they're constantly change is good. Hard is not the business. Like I don't wanna do that. Yeah, I agree. So when people grow, I like that. So we know each other's moves, but like I said, everything, we still learn each other every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every day, every day. <laughs> every day, every day, but I think at the end of the day, when you know it's all gonna be worth it, you don't mind the, the the, the growing with someone like that that learning someone it's hard work it's hard as shit yeah the, it's the survival of the fucking business uh, yeah if you are if you are if you're all for it i think it's worth it yeah i think it's good to know someone on a on a level like it's about like understand somebody i think that's the biggest thing is understanding. yeah yeah, because I feel like once you get to know a person like that, and you can tell if a person is like on some bullshit. Like, you can tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guess who called me now? Ha <laughs> 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 I'm doing something for now. I'm going back. You say what? I'm talking to my best friend. I'm calling back. <laughs> Yes, oh my god. I see this one day in gas, but... You say what? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. This is, this is going on the vlog. Like, oh, that's what you were doing. Uh huh. That's what you were doing. You were. Okay. It's okay. See, and that's a beautiful thing, too, right? When you can communicate about. You uh huh. Know, people, I, 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 I have important people in my life just as equally as important as that person. Uh-huh. Those people deserve time as well. Yeah, I agree. I think that you should just run just because somebody, oh shit, he called him, like, I, I just don't think that's healthy. Yeah, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. But sometimes, I, I, that's easy to say that because resistance, when you fuck with somebody, it's hard as hell, but... It just depends. You know if it's emergency or not. If it's emergency, they'll text you or whatever the case may be. Yeah, 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 right. It's, it's, it, it, if we talking like, you know, you don't end up in a conversation with someone, someone, you don't even know somebody wants. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want shit. So, what was going on in Atlanta yesterday? I saw everybody was at the underground. Yeah, they said it was some type of festival. Yeah, it looked like everyday people again. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Are they going underground to land on the death? Okay, you know, uh, 
They trying to get underground back like, you know, they trying to get people back at underground. Uh-huh. They trying to get people back at underground. They about to make underground back, you know. Uh, is the mall back open? Because I remember going there as a kid. No, it's about to be, it's like bars and stuff down there now. Oh, okay. It's really cute. I'm glad that they're doing something with downtown. Remember when I was downtown and there was a shit down there? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's really, it's listening. Do you have to go pee? Do you have to go outside? All right, guys, so this is the outfit for today. Oh my God, this shirt underneath. I'm trying to get this white shirt underneath because it's gonna be hot outside. When it's hot outside, I sweat. And so I be having to have on like an undershirt because I don't be like for the sweat stains to show under here. So that's the trick to having it, but yeah. I could have like ran the iron over it, but I'm not going nowhere like real. It'll be fine. But... Real fun. And I have my ankle bracelet on too. All right guys, so um, I just thought about it that I have to go to, I have to stop by uh, AutoZone. I gotta stop by somewhere because um, I went to Firestone to get um, to get an oil change, an oil change, and I thought that I think it's called like the cabin air filter or something like that. Why is this car stopping any brakes? Like, oh baby, I'm about to go around you. You don't know how to drive, girl. Why you keep breaking like that? All right, so um, yeah, I need to go. Maybe I could stop at Auto Parts. Maybe they have it. I need to get a filter because. The air that comes out this car, like, that comes out of my car, I can smell that it's a dirty filter and I don't like that. Like, oh my God, it bothers me every time. Like when my friend was in here, I was like, you don't smell that? That shit stinks, oh God. And when I went to Firestone, I thought that they came with the oil change, but apparently not, but they still charged me like $160 for oil change. And I have never been charged that much for oil change. So I gotta change it myself because it's an extra $50 to add on which the place that I go to, that I went to before, they added on, but it's still, my oil change and everything still coming to like $110. So I wanna make sure I never go back to Firestone for oil change because it's just a name and they got me out of my money and I don't like that. Anyway, I'm here, so we about to get, go and see if they have it. So I'm, I'm like vlogging. But you're fine, um, you just got, uh, what's the name, but, um. Oh my God, can you talk about that on camera? I can. How did you guys agree to that to have each other's location? Well, for me, I feel like I have a big sense of privacy. You know me, like a real private person. Yeah. I do have my friend's locations. Right. And they have mine, so. Uh -huh. I the only reason that I may want to hold on to that sense of privacy is to potentially do something sneaky. If I have nothing to hide, there's no reason that you just can't my location. Right. I love how arguments it eliminates. It works out so well. Okay. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't like to share their location because they be doing shit. That's what the bottom thing, that's like the bottom. And I get it. It's a respect to privacy, but come on now. Like, you act like I'm going through your phone, every notification you get. Like, I think that's different. But I feel like... I feel like you should want to share your location with the person that you love and that you want to be with. I think so too. I think so too. And especially if a person shows you that they have your back. Yeah. You probably have your location. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah, but I, that's big. You, that's big for me, child. Yeah, it's, it's it's big. I don't do shit like that. Well, you know, I got your location shit. Sometimes I look, yeah, sometimes I location. don't. I haven't said nothing in a while, though. I haven't really looked at it because I already know your ass. You in Houston, so I can't. <laughs> I don't know where the hell you at, where you be going. <laughs> but that's the thing, like, bring up a good point. Your friends, all your friends got your location, whether they look at it or not. Why don't you know what I mean? This is the, and that's, they and you know what? That's the thing, too, sure. that I, in a relationship, I'm just like, the next person I be with, like, I want to be like, I want to be best friends. Like, I want to be friends, like, I want to be. I want to have that because people get in relationships and they block off. They yeah. they put you in one category of just being their friend or just being their boyfriend, and I don't want to do that. Like I'd rather be both. Like 
But don't be blocking off shit for me because I'm your friend too. Like I, you know. The only real way to assure that you're someone's friend is always being yourself around them. Yeah. Because who you really are is going to come out eventually whether you're yourself or not. Right. So you might as well just start off being yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And then when people try to get to get with you and change, they battling themselves, so the conflict is gonna come out of that. So uh -huh. why don't you just be yourself? Yep, yeah, I agree. Priest, it took me milestones to go to this point. I don't even know the person talking to you right now. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> what you say? I gotta make sure the vlog hit is. It took me milestones to grow to be this person I'm talking to that you're talking to right now. I'm not sure who I am, but we'll figure it out later. <laughs> that's good. I like who you are. I like who you're becoming. You became a long way. Like that's so crazy. I was telling I was telling the guy that I, that I talked to. I was telling him like um I was telling him when we met. I was like like because we was like um asking like each other like how like I asked him like how did he meet his best friend and stuff at first. And then he told me, and then uh, I told him, like, um, you know, like when I came up to your job, um, I wanted to know how T-Mobile worked and stuff like that, because I wanted a job at T-Mobile and I wanted you to take my test. And then I think later on that later on that weekend, I was gonna go out to opera, and uh -huh. I called you, <laughs> I called you, and you was like, you go by yourself? You was like, uh-uh, you was like, I'm gonna go with you, not by yourself. Uh-huh. And then, me and you went, and then, then the, the rest has been history, child. That night was like... That was, was so like, fun! I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not my best friend. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my god. I was like, and then when I left, like, nobody's ever cried before. We are here finally. I hate clicking on notifications. And um, you might click on somebody's message, so you gotta be careful on which notification you click on. <laughs> What's going on, boy? What's going on? How are you? How's everything? Everything's good. Everything? I show this feeling. A little bit better. I can kind of. Yeah. Can't really do push-ups. No, it's, it's, yeah. it's go down, but it's still yeah, swollen. Yeah, you can tell. It's still swollen, but it's go down. Yeah. It's still swollen. That's crazy how you can tell this one's still swollen. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> okay, guys. Why am I sweating like this? Okay, guys. So, um, I'm outside of Linux Mall. As you guys can see. And I went in Zara. I went into the stores that I usually go in, Bloomingdale and stuff like that. And then the other store I walked in before I got here, they didn't have anything either. And I hate ordering stuff from offline because I just feel like I need to try it on. And depending on the shirt and my pants, I might want the shirt, I like for my shirt to fit like kind of oversized. So yeah, it's so hard for me to shop nowadays. And then in the stores, they don't even really have anything. So that's the annoying part about it. Let me get out of here. But, yeah, so I guess I'm just really gonna go home now. It's time for, it's time for the dogs to eat. So, I don't even know what I'm gonna eat. But, yeah, um, I don't know, but I don't have anything planned. The only thing I have planned is my friend party that's coming up, and so I just have to find some, uh, he, he's having like a colored party or a chrome party. He's, have, he's having a chrome and black party, so I'll probably just end up wearing all black because I don't know where I'm gonna get chrome from. It's more easier for girls to find chrome than boys. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. You guys can go if y'all finna go. Yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. We have nothing planned, not much planned. I do want to take pictures, but pictures in what? Maybe just like a selfie or something, just upload it. Um, just because I got my hair done and it's gonna be up for like two weeks, and that's probably it. 
and then it get taken down and then I'll probably put it, I'll probably get some braids and get some braids again. I'm trying to think though, what I want to eat, I have a burger in the refrigerator that can be cooked. But I don't want that. I just really don't know what I, like I really don't be knowing what I be wanting to eat nowadays. Like I be tired of like, I be tired of chicken because I eat chicken so much. That's like my go-to. Like if it's chicken wings, chicken breasts, in the air fryer or out, like I'm sick of that. I'm getting sick of seafood. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I haven't really been like wanting like, oh, I want to, oh, I want to eat this, oh, I want to eat that. I haven't been having that lately. And that's weird. If I could probably eat air, I would, but I can't do that. So, hmm. What do I want? I know I be having a taste for them damn cookies, but I can't be eating them cookies like that because I'm not trying to get a, a big bag for the summer. Summer's here and I ain't trying to get no, I ain't trying to have no big bag. I ain't trying to do that. <sighs> I don't know. I wish it was like kind of cool outside. It's like 90 degrees and I really want to take the dogs to the park, but I don't look like that gonna happen because it's 90 degrees and I ain't got time. I don't have time for um, my dog. Them dogs act like um, like they dying, literally dying. But they can't be literally dying because it's so hot outside. It's too hot for them. They can't take the heat. So they're in the house with the air conditioner, which I would probably. I wonder hmm, if I was a dog, would I? <laughs> would I be? I would want to probably be in the house on the air conditioner because I don't really come outside till like six, seven o'clock. Only came out really today because. I wanted to see if I could find something to wear or if any stores had new clothes in them. But Zara barely got shit. I went in Zara, they barely got shit. The other store, they got stuff, but it's like some of the stuff look like it just thrown on the t-shirts. Like designers are getting lazy nowadays and just think they can just and it's so expensive. Like I'm not about to pay three, four hundred dollars or even two hundred dollars for a basic shirt. I'm not doing that. If I do that, I might as well go get a designer shirt. No way. So, good thing I don't have nowhere to be this weekend. I'm just chilling, getting my rest. I probably work tonight, probably pick up hours, pick up overtime. But other than that, y'all, I am going to be chilling. Ch chilling, chilling, chilling. I'm hungry. I don't know what I want to eat. Hmm. Alright, so I'll get you guys later. Let me find something to eat. Hey guys, what's up? Good afternoon. It's in the afternoon now, so good afternoon. Pono, you wanna say good afternoon? Say good afternoon. Say that good afternoon. He really wanna get off that bed so bad. Come on. Come on. Say good afternoon. Say good afternoon. <laughs> That's all you good for? You can't bark? Say something. Say something to the camera. Say something. <laughs> so, Uno Brain is going. He was here the whole weekend, so I'm sure. Uno, he's very funny acting. Sometimes he likes to like play with dogs, and then sometimes he don't. He's very funny acting. Like, sometimes he likes to do the most, sometimes he don't. He's really just a chill, laid back dog. Um, so, today is what? Tuesday? I'm off work, so um, today I'm gonna go to the gym just to kind of exercise my arm a little bit and do like um, leg workouts because you guys know summer is coming. Summer is here. It's not coming, it's here. So, I wanna um, do some leg workouts. Get these legs, get these, get these styles in check. But we're gonna do that, but first I need to make breakfast because I haven't ate all morning and it's 12.52. My friend wanted me to go to the airport for him to drop his car off, so I'm about to um, cook breakfast. I'm about to make eggs. I have turkey bacon, so I'm gonna put turkey bacon in the air fryer. And then we're gonna shower, I'm gonna shower. I wanna go to Abercrombie and Fitch because I heard, I hear they have like really good, um, I hear they have like really good like, Stuff like this, like you know, a little 
sweatsuits, so joggers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go there and see what they have. Um, yeah, that's it. So all I have is to just work out. My camera's leaning. Hold on. So all we have today, uh, all I really have plans to just like work out. Not really much. Um, I don't really do anything on my off days like that. I just rest. And maybe we can cook later. Um, I think I really want to cook something. I just don't know what yet. I'm gonna find a meal off TikTok to cook. Cause I wanna see if I got it. I wanna see like if I can really do something. And then maybe, who knows, when I get a man, I can start cooking for him, so. Cause right now, I only know like to cook like steak, salmon, sides, chicken in the air fryer. I can't even cook like traditional chicken like on a stove here, so. Ugh. I wanna cook something. I'm gonna cook something different that I never cooked before. I'm gonna the phone up on Here. You like it? I'm about to get pulled on a bath today too. You ain't get a bath today? You like it, y'all. You like it? Get it. Now he about to lick it around. Get it. Get it. He's gonna here. Yeah, you know how to eat off the flow. Stop acting like you don't know how to eat off the flow. Here. I'm, no, okay, baffle no. Eat your food, cause I'm not about to, no. I'm not about to feed you. You can get that off the floor and eat it. Stop acting like you don't know how. Eat it. No. All right, you guys, I'm about to eat my food so I can go to the gym, come back and shower. And your little hand. Now that's the only thing without a tent. My trophy on that bound bike, I gave you only pipe. If people don't hate, then it won't be right. You could look at Kylie, Kendall, Courtney, and your Chloe. All your mama ever made was trophies, right? I just want to take you out and show you off. You already know that you the perfect one. Girl, when I was feeling like a champion. Right, guys so i'm about to go to um starbucks and try this matcha drink that they have all right y'all so kuno hasn't been in the car in a long time so playing his loud music and driving fast he's just like what the hell is going on you scared are you scared you scared are you scared are you scared you scared are you scared, huh? Huh? You scared? Are you scared? <laughs> Come on. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so cute, you got a cutie on your hand. <laughs> Thank you. With the chain. Yeah, <laughs> Can I get a, uh, uh, you guys have the pup cups for him? Did it go through? I probably cut it off. Did it go through now? You get a pup cup? You get a pup cup? You get a pup cup? Yeah. Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> It's coming out. <laughs> ah, you got some on my thumb. Okay, give it a rest till we get home. All right, give it a rest till we get home. Okay, guys, so. Um. This is good. Nice up. All right, guys. So we're back in the house, and this damn pup cup is over here. Here, here. You got it all sticky. Ew. <laughs> okay. That's it. That is it. That's it. That's it. Oh my God, y'all, he ate this whole, ah! Oh, okay, I'm done with you. Y'all, look at him. It's gone. All right, let me get serious. I need to find something to cook tonight. Cause time is ticking. And before you know it, I will be snacking on something and not cooking tonight, so let me Try to find something to cook tonight and I will be back guys, okay? Peace. All right guys, so I got my quesadilla stuff. Okay, so I got chicken. Of course, I'm gonna cut this up into like a little small like, you know, quesadilla pieces. And then I have my peppers. I'm gonna cut these up too. They didn't have the little ones, so I'm just gonna have to work with this because I really wanted peppers and this is like the only thing that they had. And I have my jalapeno slices. It ain't, Mexican food ain't even really good without jalapenos in it. And I have my shell, so, oh, I'm so excited. And I see someone had this on TikTok. It's a creamy queso sauce, so I'm gonna try that out. And then I have my taco seasoning mix, and then I have my fajita seasoning mix. And then I have my cheese, and then I love having dipping sauce with my tacos and stuff, so I have this. It's called, it's a medium salsa, so hopefully this is good. We're gonna try that. I'm about to um, cut these, cut this chicken up, and then season it, and then put the season on it, and then we about to do this, and then I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes. This is my first time making it, so I hope you guys enjoy this <laughs> experience. I hope it's good, because, <laughs> this is what I hate about cooking, because I don't know, it's me being a Virgo that when I do something, I like to get it perfect on the perfect first try, even though like, I just know, like, it's gonna be some time, but you ain't gonna get it perfect on the first try. So, yeah. And then I got wine too as well, y'all. So we gonna be sipping wine. I got this Do Doce, so, so sweet pineapple, cause I love pineapple. And then I have, a, I have a red one, which, cause I love red wine. It's a sweet blueberry. But it's definitely gonna have to cool down, so I'm gonna sit it on the back eye. All right, guys, so I'm done <laughs> cooking. Oh my God. 
You guys can see, like, I was going so slow and the heat was just like, come on, come on, come on, because I put it on there, but I forgot that I have to be, you have to be really fast making these, especially when you already got it on the stove. I forgot to put my jalapeno peppers on here, and as you guys can see, I was already late putting this on here, so I'm gonna do another one in the morning, so just so I can have some for brunch tomorrow, but look at this. Here it goes, it looks good. I just wish, oh my God, I wish I put my jalapeno peppers on here, but here it is. This is my quesadilla, and I just cut it with a knife. And then I'm gonna have a glass of wine with it. So yeah, I think I did good for the first time, right? I think I did good. If not, it was close to it, which makes me wanna do it again. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow for brunch. But yeah, here it is. I call myself cutting it. Call myself cutting it. I let it cool down because here it is. I hope it don't fall. Here it is. Ah! <laughs> I'm actually gonna taste it on camera too. So TikTok, y'all looking too? Okay. Okay, yeah, it's hitting, it's hitting, it's hitting. I'm actually just about to stop vlogging for the night, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, good morning. I guess we'll know back there. It's so annoying. He always knows when the camera is coming on. So nosy. All right, we're about to get ready and go to the gym. First, I have to brush my teeth while I leave out. It's kind of late, it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, but I slept in today. I ate some cereal, so I'm gonna go to the gym on that. With, um, I'm gonna go to the gym with um, cereal on my stomach, and then later, we're gonna make another quesadilla. I'm a, this time, I'm gonna, this time, I'm gonna fold it. Cause um, last time, it was just too much. Uh, too much, honey. mask and then do a treadmill for 10 minutes yeah so let's do it I'm gonna sit you guys right here store to get some um, fruit for my shake, my protein shake. So I needed some strawberries and then I gotta get bananas and then I just seen cotton candy grapes. For you guys who don't know what these are, these are like the best grapes ever. Organic cotton candy grapes, like they're so good. So I'm gonna get some of these too, because I haven't had, I haven't had any in so long. I'm gonna get some of these and bananas and then I'm out of here. I'm not gonna stand for too long because I already know what I'm eating. Oh, I get like two. Three. I just got in from the store. I am about to make my famous Chris protein shake.
All right, guys, I am about to sit on this for a little bit, let it digest, and then we're about to um, make another quesadilla. I just kind of want to relax. I do go back to work tomorrow, so I just kind of want to watch TV, be on my phone for a minute, maybe doze off for a minute, and then get up and then cook. I thought I was going to eat the, um, I thought I was going to eat that quesadilla for um, lunch, but that protein shake filled me up with the peanut butter and all that stuff in it. It filled me up, so I just wanna chill out for a minute and then we'll get up and then cook the quesadilla. I don't really have anywhere I have to go out or anything like that. I barely go out the house. The store's not that far from my house, so I barely go out. So I'm gonna just sit here and watch TV. So, yeah. A few moments later Hey guys Good evening Oh my god, look who's out the cage I didn't know he was out the cage I am about to start making this um, My quesadilla I'm about to start making it This is the second one, so you guys seen what I did yesterday? Yay! Ugh, my legs are on fire from the gym. Okay. Have this. I'm warming up my meat and my peppers and stuff. I like my peppers a little bit sauteed, so that's why I'm warming them up, because I like them sauteed. But let me switch this battery, because I don't want to die at the last minute. So. Well guys, this is my quesadilla burnt a little bit, <laughs> but I like it burnt. Yeah, this, here it is. I have a thing clipped up. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. So I'm up here cooking, and it is nine o'clock in the morning. I'm working, as you guys can see. Grilled cheese on the stove. My turkey bacon over here. Yeah, so I'm trying to eat so I can be up for the day. I already kind of slept in. I usually wake up at 6 o'clock to start work, but I woke up at like 9 to start today. And so I'll probably say three hours after just to make up for the time because I usually come in early. So right now I'm just. Okay, y'all. So I'm on a little break right quick. So this yogurt right here, Shobani vanilla. I put cotton candy grapes in here and then I added granola in here. This shit is good as fuck. Uh, like, this is the granola that I use. Y'all gotta try this, this is good. So good. All right, let me get back to work. Hi guys, I'm off work. Me and, I just, bro, hold on. So I just got in from taking Kuno outside. I was about to feed him, but I'm actually about to take him downstairs to go bathe him because it's been a while and it's time for him to get a bath. So we about to pack his bag up and we about to go downstairs. Are you ready? 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 Yeah, we about to go downstairs because I bought him some new shampoo. Milk bath shampoo. It's a vanilla scent, so hopefully Hopefully it makes him smell good. I'm thinking of you, so we're about to I'm about to pack up and we're about to head down there. So I'll see you guys when we get down there. Are you ready to get the tub? Look at him. You ready to get the tub? Huh? Come on.
Today will be the end of the vlogging day. Hopefully you guys enjoy this week of all the content that I could get because you guys know I do work. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I will see you guys on the next weekly vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure you guys subscribe. And yeah, uh, we'll see you guys. Puno, you wanna say bye? You wanna say see you in the next weekly vlog? Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. All your mama ever made was trophies, right? I just wanna do you out and show you off. You already put it to the perfect one. Get when I'm with you, like a champion. And since I got with you, I feel like I want to be a trophy.